All right, you guys, so I am back from the bank. I got the cash here in this envelope, all ready to be stuffed in my um, cash envelopes and sinking funds and my savings challenges. I This is the second take of doing this part. I didn't realize my iPad was not recording before, so I had almost gotten to the very end when I realized the storage was full on my camera so I had to go and remove some things so now here we are take two for this part and first we're just gonna count the cash 20 well also first I should say it's gonna be more than what I originally was going to stuff I found a couple extra ones in my car so we're just gonna add those to an envelope once I figure out which one I want to do. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 140, 45, 50, 55, 60, 165, 6, 7, 8, 9, 170, 171, and 172 now is what we're going to be stuffing. So I'm just going to move this envelope to the side for when we need that. And I'm gonna get the money laid out. So, yes. So when we get to the savings part of the video, I already have some stuff colored in. And, Cause that was when I realized the camera wasn't recording anymore. So I apologize for that when we get to that. We're gonna start with our cash envelopes in my wallet. Sorry about the glare from my light on these envelopes. Okay, so gas is getting 15. And all of these envelopes in my wallet are empty. I did use all the money last week. So 15 in gas. Eating out is getting a 10. Oh, just one. Groceries is getting 40. That one is all stuffed now. Personal is just gonna get a 10. And I'm gonna try really, really, really hard to stick to it this week. We'll see, it'll be a challenge. And then, sorry for the loud noise, bank envelope goes back in here. And my receipts envelope is empty. I took out all my receipts from last week and I'm gonna scan them into my Fetch Rewards app. I'm gonna leave my referral code down in the description box of this video. I highly, Highly recommend downloading it if you do not already have the Fetch app. Okay, moving on to our sinking funds binder that I have here. I think there's just a couple envelopes in this one that we're gonna stuff. Hopefully this will stay open, not fall over. First up, we got my vacation fund here. It is getting a 20. Now it has 30. Yippee! That'll buy me a few drinks so far. So that one is stuffed for the week. Car expenses is not getting anything. Um, Chevy is getting a $5 bill. And now has 10, 15, and 20 in there. He should be good on dog. I just got him a big, big bag of dog food not long ago. So he should be good for a little bit. So that one's stuffed. Extra debt's not getting anything. Savings. We're adding a 20. So now it has a total of 25. I'm thinking that I should probably make 
some trackers for these envelopes. That'd probably be best. <laughs> Good way for me to keep track of the totals. Or maybe I'll just buy some from other budgeters on their Etsy stores. <laughs> Support small businesses and all. So the last envelope for this binder is my prescription envelope and it's getting a 20, but I think I'm gonna add the five extra ones to this too, just because I don't know what the total of my prescription is going to be yet. So I think better safe than sorry. So 21, 2, 3, 4, 25 now. It's going into this envelope. So that one is now stuffed. That one's getting skipped. And this binder is done. All right. Moving on to my brown binder. This one's just another sinking funds binder lower priority categories. I'm going to use this to weigh it down. My leopard patterned envelopes that I made myself that I think are just absolutely gorgeous. I'll do a quick flip through. It's probably hard to see the colors. These envelopes and the polka dot envelopes that we saw in the first binder are I made myself and they are available on my Etsy, just in case you were wondering. For this binder, we are going to skip to self-care that is getting a $5 bill. And there's 20 in here, so now we have a total of 25. If it will. So this binder is done now. Quick and easy. <laughs> Moving on. So next, we are going to stuff my Christmas box, Christmas challenge that I came up with. We're doing five dollars, so I already picked the envelope because obviously filmed this once already but we're going with this deer fur patterned one I think it's so pretty so five dollars in here let's put this in the back yep and also this is a challenge that I came up with I just I can't remember the exact amount of envelopes that I made but they are labeled five dollars and ten dollars and the total of them reaches $200 once it is finished and I'm very excited to continue stuffing that one so that I can have my Christmas fund fully funded and ready by November. All right we're gonna go into the budget mom savings challenges that I am participating in for this year. We're just gonna do one of them this time going to take the envelope out, make it a little easier. So for this one, it is getting the remaining $17. We have 10, 15, 16, and 17. And I already filled out the tracker, showing that we have 17 in here. Very, very awesome. And then we are going to fill in, we're going to do some coloring. Who doesn't love to color in trackers? If you're like me, I'm a visual person, 100%. So having these trackers, I think is just amazing. And like I said before, this is when I noticed that the camera wasn't recording anymore. I'm going to take a second make sure it's still recording. Good, we are. And we're just going to continue coloring in. So I already did a $1.25, a $0.75 cent one. Now we're going to do a 
we're going to do this flower. And also, um, excuse, please excuse the poor coloring skills. I know I'm outside the lines, but hey, it adds character. So this, we're going to color. We'll do this one right here. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera at all. You guys are probably just cringing at my poor coloring skills. I'm kind of cringing a little bit, <laughs> to be honest. So that one is done. Now we're going to do a dollar fifty. These, I think, are tulips. I'm terrible at when identifying flowers and whatnot. That's for sure. And we got to find one. Here we go color in these bad boys. I love this color. This is pretty. This is kind of fun. I forgot how um, soothing coloring in is. <laughs> I know that's a weird thing to say. Let's see. 50 cents is... We'll do this little star shaped flower this peachy color. Probably can't even see it on the camera. It's very peach. Now we just got to find one. Here's one. So yeah. The weather has been super, super nice where I'm at now. My dog's currently out on the balcony soaking up the sunshine. And I'm going to join him as soon as I'm done with this. But I hope wherever you guys are, it's really nice weather as well. Like I am just sick of harsh cold winters. I don't want to do it anymore. Let's see, dollar fifty fifty and another dollar one. We'll do this one. What color do we want? Let's do red. But yeah, like I hate the cold. I don't know about you guys, but I hate the cold. I hate the brutal winds. Slipping on ice. This one We'll do this one. So yeah, I am definitely a warm weather gal. Alright, voila! Let me just make sure I'm going to be that person and I'm going to do this super simple math on a calculator. Just want to make sure I colored in the right ones. Dollar fifty. Seven dollars. Perfect. Okay. So we have all those colored in. This one is done and ready. I might go and color in the envelope later on. We'll see. So that is now done. And lastly, we are going to fill my coin jars with some of the change I had from my spending in my cash envelopes last week. So I will grab my coin jars real quick and be right back. All right, I am back. I apologize for the poor angle of the coin jars. I'll just kind of give you a view of them. So this one's my smaller one for my pennies and this big purple one is for all the silver coin and i got the idea from tara budgets over on instagram and here on youtube she has a similar setup for her coins and i thought that was awesome so take out these we got a little bit of change i'm gonna try not to make a mess here while i pour it out Okay, that's everything. Okay, and now the fun, satisfying part of clinking coins filling up. And voila! So thank you guys for sticking around this long if you did, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like the channel or the videos, please, please subscribe. I would love it. Love to have you join the budgeting fam. I'm trying to get everything, show off all the prettiness here. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend or a great start to the week, depending on when you watch this. And happy Friday to the 13th. Bye guys.